Look, I'm glad you finally came back. It's been a while since we last spoke. So how have you been? Um, I don't know. It's been a rough few weeks. It's all been a blur. I'm not even sure if any of it's real. And then there's him and he was just becoming way too much to handle. You never knew what you'd be doing next. When you say him, do you, you mean Kyle? Yeah, of course I mean him. I don't know if he came into my life to, to help me or to torment me. But I spoke to Lucy. We both agreed I should spend a lot less time with him. When was the last time you saw him? Well, I was just sitting eating some lunch. And then just as usual, he just appeared out of nowhere. Hey, just the man I was looking for. I was thinking, me and you could go out and have a good time. Sorry, I'm busy tonight. Oh, come on. Have you brought some good stuff? No, I can't. I'm going out with Lucy later. I'm glad you're here, though. Um, there's some things we need to talk about. It's me and you, man. I can't be doing this anymore. This is becoming way too much for me to handle. Oh, come on, don't talk like that. Just take one of these and you'll be fine. See, this is what I'm talking about. Most people go out for a normal night out. They, they watch the football, play the PlayStation, they'll go out for a drink. You always need to take it over the top. Cut the crap. We both know this isn't you talking. It's Lucy, isn't it? She's put you up to this. See, this is your problem. You have to grow a pair of balls and start making decisions for yourself. We both spoke about it and we both agreed it was for the best. You know what? Let's have a drink then. I'll go get some coffee. Well, isn't this fun? Yeah, I guess. Take a drink. This was your idea. So take a drink. There, happy? That wasn't so hard, was it now? What did you just do? I gave you a little extra in your coffee. Sorry, it's the only way you understand. So he slipped something in my drink. It couldn't have been the first time that he did this. It would help explain some of the gaps in my memory. Strange though. It wasn't until recently that I began to question the effects he had on my life, you know, and the problems he'd caused me. At the start, I was just thankful for the adventures and the friendship, but it's weird after a while. I'd... I just began to question whether it even exists. Why do you think this? Well, there's a bunch of things. I mean, I don't know his last name. I actually just don't know anything about him. I have no way of contacting him. I don't know any of his friends. When we meet up, he just appears at my door. I don't know how he got there. I, I tried checking on social media, talking Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. There was no photos of him. It's, it's literally like he doesn't exist. Why do you talk like he's real and then question it? Well, it's a funny thing. If a child has an imaginary friend, then it's considered cute and creative. But if a grown man has an imaginary friend, then He's considered crazy. It's simple. If Kyle's not real, then I'm crazy. So tell me, what happened when you woke up? Well, woke up. I wasn't sure how long I'd been there. All I knew that is that he was gone by that point, long gone. All of that didn't matter. I, my priority was getting a hold of Lucy. But it was too late. I, 
By the time I'd gotten a hold of Lucy, he was already there. So Lucy was with Kyle, were you led to believe that he would cause her harm? Over the time I've known him, I've learned he's unpredictable. There's no telling what he's going to do next. Okay, I had no choice but to believe that he would hurt her. I mean, he just drugged me unconscious, just to get to her. If this is how you felt, then why did you keep seeing him? I don't know what... I think... I think at first I enjoyed it. I mean, before he came into my life, it was boring, mundane, repetitive. But after this, there was no going back. What he did this time was, was way too far. What is wrong with you? Shut up, you stupid bitch! I'm afraid for you. You're a maniac. You will not get away with this. Watch me. <laughs> If you let her go, we can all walk away from this and no one has to get hurt. Look, do something! I brought you two together. I can very easily tear you apart. Kyle, please! Don't do this! I love her. What? Look, why did you never say? Look, look, this needs to stop. We both know that this isn't real. Sorry. I think that's enough for one session. <laughs>